In today's video, I'm showing you three of the best ways to make money publishing audiobooks through Audible ACX. What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dane and on this channel I talk all about self-publishing books on Amazon, on entrepreneurship and just lifestyle in general. So if that kind of thing interests you, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Like you guys saw in the intro for this video, I'm going over the three best ways that I personally have done in order to make money through audiobooks, publishing them on Audible ACX, okay? And these are the best three ways that I've learned and the best three ways that I've taught other people how to do it as well. So if you're someone who's just getting started with self-publishing, you don't really know how to publish audiobooks, this video is not really about that, but you can go on my channel. I have tons of other videos about how to self-publish books through Amazon and then get them onto Audible. But in this video, I'm solely focusing on the top three ways to make money self-publishing audiobooks through Audible ACX. So without further ado, let's jump into my computer here. I'm going over the three ways on screen plus a bonus way at the end. So let's do it. So way number one on this list is making your audiobooks five hours or more. Why you're probably wondering, let me get into detail. So most competitors are gonna aim for three hour long audiobooks. And this is because most of the self-published books on Amazon's platform are gonna be around 30,000 words. And generally speaking, 30,000 words translates to three hours. Every 10,000 words is usually around three hours worth of audio content. So most people are gonna have 30,000 word long books. And when they translate those over to Audible, it's gonna be a three hour long book. So most of your competitors are gonna be in the three hour range. So if you can make your book, your audio book, 50,000 words and do five hours long, you're gonna stand out very easily. Five hours only requires your books to be around 40 to 45K words long. So as you can see, being pretty conservative with what I said earlier, 50K words will get you five hours. Usually 40 to 45K words will get you five hours. It depends on how fast your narrator reads your book. It might cost more to have this made, but it will pay off in the long run, okay? And I'm gonna show you an example right now of why this works. It's not just me saying it, I'll show you on screen why this is actually something that will help you stand out from competitors. So as you can see here on audible.com right now, I've searched up real estate investing and below you can see there's 4,000 results for real estate investing. So this isn't really, this is a little bit more competition that I would recommend you get into for an audiobook, but it's a good example of why a longer audiobook does better than a shorter one. You can see all of the top results that are ranking here are really long. You can see this one 11 hours long, nine hours long, 16 hours long, five hours long, five hours long, 10 hours, four hours. So we gotta go all the way down to like book number, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Book number eight on the first page is the only one that's under four hours in length. So that right there should prove to you guys that even uh, for a keyword that has over 4,000 results, you wanna have a book Getting to around the five hour mark, it'll help you rank higher because people are more interested in longer audiobooks. So method number two on this list is focus on the listener's wants, okay? Customer always comes first when it comes to anything you're selling. And that definitely is one of the main things to focus on with audiobooks, okay? So make sure your book makes sense in audiobook format. What do I mean by that? An example of this is that cookbooks make really no sense in audio format. Okay, and I was just looking this up before the video. The real estate investing one you saw, it had 4,000 results, okay? And then once you search something like Mediterranean cookbook or paleo diet cookbook, they have around 200 results, okay? And when you compare those results to amazon.com, paleo diet, Mediterranean diet, they have way more results on amazon.com because those are paperbacks and eBooks, okay? And then books like real estate investing, they still have tons of results on amazon.com. But on Audible, why do you think there's such a steep drop off in results? It's because people aren't buying cookbooks because when you read a cookbook, technically you're, lo you're buying it to look at the pictures and kind of look at the different recipes and see what a recipe is going to yield basically when you're cooking it. Whereas with real estate investing, you're more so able to just listen to it and learn and be entertained throughout the entire book. Whereas with the cookbooks, it's just, it's a visual experience and audiobooks obviously aren't a visual experience. So one thing to heavily consider is when you're making an audiobook, make sure it makes sense in the audio format. I'll show you one more example right now. So here's the Mediterranean example. Like I said, it only has 229 results. We're on Amazon, it has thousands and thousands of results. And then if I go to something like even knitting for beginners, this is another thing. So even outside of cookbooks, this is another keyword where it's like, why is there only 22 results? Well, knitting for beginners is something you need to see visually to learn, okay? No one's buying an audiobook to learn how to knit, all right? So 
you have to consider when you're publishing books from Amazon's platform, from the ebook and paperback format, will it make sense if I turn it into an audiobook? Okay, so don't waste a bunch of time, a bunch of money, a bunch of resources if your book isn't gonna make sense in audiobook format. So like I said, how-to style books that require photos, like I just showed you knitting for beginners, they make no sense either. Books that do best are the ones that not only inform the listener, but entertain them at the same time without requiring images, okay? Make sure you're keeping that in the back of your head when you're publishing audiobooks. And finally, number three on this list is keyword profitability criteria, okay? This is very, very important for you to know. Before you go ahead and take things from the Amazon platform and put them onto the Audible platform, this is what you need to know in order to make sure your uh, keyword is gonna be profitable. First thing I just said, like I said at the beginning of this video, is three hours minimum, five hours ideally. So. Anything less than three hours is gonna make you very, very, very low royalties. When you publish an, a book onto Audible, Audible actually chooses how much the price is for your book based on the length, okay? And anything less than three hours, the the amount that they charge for a book is just so low, you're not gonna make basically, basically anything. So three hours is what you should be shooting for. So a 30,000 word book, ideally, could be 25K words depending on how fast your narrator reads. But like I said, five hours is the one that I recommend you do. So around 45 to 50K words. Next on this list is 500 or so results. Okay, you don't wanna have more than 500 uh, books ranking for a single keyword or it's gonna make it really difficult for you to get your audiobook ranking on the first or second page. The more books there are, the more competition there is and the more difficult it's gonna be to get your books ranking highly so people can find them organically and buy them. Another key thing is generally around or less than 100 reviews on competitor books is what you're looking for. If you have a results page with tons and tons of books like I just showed you with the real estate example, we'll go back to it. it can be very difficult to rank when you're competing against books like this. You can see this top one, 10,000 ratings, 2,000 ratings on the next one, 82 isn't too bad, 4,000, 3,000. So you get the point when there's that many reviews on books that are selling like this, it's really hard to get up there and compete because it's gonna be difficult to get thousands of reviews on your audiobook. And when people see a book with only 10 reviews versus a book with 10,000 reviews, they're probably gonna buy the book with 10,000 reviews because more people, there's more social proof, all that good stuff. And finally on this list is the average BSR, which stands for best sellers rank. You want one that's gonna be lower than 30,000, okay? And I'm gonna show you what that means right now because if you're someone who's new to this, you're probably not sure what I'm talking about. So I'll show you what it means. So back on this real estate investing page, you can see I have these numbers showing up. You might not have these on your page. I'm using a tool called Bookbeam. It's this green B up here, and it shows me all of these additional numbers when I search for a keyword on Amazon or on Audible. It's gonna show me the numbers and they're very, very helpful. Okay, it's gonna show you the average amount of reviews, the search volume, average price for the books that are on this page, average estimated monthly sales, but the one we're looking at this time is gonna be average BSR. Okay, this is arguably the most important one out of all of these, because again, it's the best seller's rank. So the best seller's rank on Amazon means that if your book is number one, it's the best selling book, okay? So anything uh, lower than one is gonna be selling less than the top version. So in this example, the lower the number, the better. So that's why I said on the last page on the slide there, anything less than 30,000 is ideal because that means there's demand for that keyword, okay? So this one actually has 88,000, which isn't great. Okay, and I can click up here and it's gonna show me a more detailed view of all the audiobooks on this first page. And what I usually do before I settle on this number here is I'm gonna remove a few outliers that have super high BSRs compared to the others. And you're gonna see the BSR right here is this ranking area. So you can see 1,000, 2,000, these are all really good at the beginning here. But my guess is there's a couple on this page that are way more. So this one's like 400K, so I'll get rid of that. And you can see it drops it to 67,000. This one, 175 standing out quite a bit. So if I drop that and I drop this 387 down here, we're getting closer to 30. So, I mean, this isn't too bad, but again, like I said, we don't want this many re or results, okay? Like I said in the slides here, we only want 500 or so results. So that means this is way too high for what we're looking for. So ideally, like I said, you're looking for something with under 500 results, an average BSR of 30,000 or less, and not tons and tons of books with thousands of reviews. Okay. Basically it's all competition. It's all, we just want to get rid of the competition and we want to have a high demand keyword. Okay. So this one's obviously high demand, but there's a bit too much competition. And finally on this list, let's go over the bonus one, which is create audiobooks that can be put into a series. Okay. This means you can make a, 
This means you can make singles and then combine them for even longer, more profitable books in bundled format. So what Amazon and Audible let you do is bundle two similar books into one. So you can publish book A and book B, which both might have 50,000 words, which total is 100,000 words, which then you can bundle them together and make a third book, which is gonna allow you to have a book with 100,000 words, and it's gonna be 10 hours long when it gets narrated and put together. So make books that are similar in niches, and then you can combine them into a series. So example, a four book series with 40K words each equals five hours each. Bundle two each, bundle two of those books together and you have two additional 10 hour long audiobooks. So out of these four books, you bundle books one and two and then three and four together. Those two have 100,000 words each. They're all, or 80,000 words each. They're around 10 hours long when they get narrated. So it's just another way to make additional income through Audible. So that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed learning about how to make money with audiobooks. If you enjoyed these three ways, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions, of course, leave a comment down below. I'll answer those questions for you. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you're someone who wants to get started with self-publishing or looking to get into this and learn how to do it, I do have a free, very short, very quick mini course. If you click the first link down below in the description, you can watch that mini course 100% free and learn how to get started with self-publishing books on Amazon and Audible. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.